What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's really good to see you again. Today we're gonna be talking about what I actually take in my camera bag every time I go do a job or every time I actually just go shooting. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go into detail exactly everything that's in here. Maybe give you guys some tips if you're looking to buy a camera or if you're looking to buy certain things to get you started. So starting with the bag, of course, this is a low pro. So this was the first bag I ever you know, got for photography and it was actually about uh, 300 bucks. Also a pretty cool thing about this bag is that it is waterproof. Um, it's got a laptop compartment right over here and it's got three different storage areas, different pockets and everything that I need basically fits in here and I just love that it's very neat and compact. Every time I go out and I take things out of the bag, everything is still in its place and nothing really gets um, disorganized. So yeah. So right now I'm shooting with the Sony a7 III. Uh, for photography, for video, my main camera is the one that I'm using right now, which is the Blackmagic uh, 6K. It's pretty much the best bang for you buck that you can get. Now they have it for like 1600 bucks, I think, which is phenomenal. When I first got it, I got it like eight, nine months ago. It was actually like $2,000 just for the body. It shoots 24 megapixel stills, and you have 24 frames per second 4K, and also 120 frames per second full HD. So yeah, it doesn't really get any better than this for that amount of money. And I also got this um, attachment from, I think it's called Makey, Makey. Um, it was like 60 bucks on Amazon and it holds two batteries. And, and the reason why I like this so much is because you just attach it to the camera and it has two functions, basically, well, three functions. I love that it has the extra battery, also the extra grip, and it also has the button up here, so you don't have to be uh, really like turning like this. And it just makes everything a lot more stable. So the first lens that we're gonna cover, it's actually the 90 millimeter macro uh, lens from Sony. I love this thing. This is probably one of my favorite lenses. It, it's really hard to say which lens is my favorite because they all serve a different purpose. The reason why I wanted to get this lens is because it gives you a different perspective on the things that you're shooting. The fact that you can get actually very close to the subject, our eyes really don't see that close. So bringing this to the table definitely changes the whole game. But all right guys, and the second lens that I own is the baddest 85 millimeter from size. It's a 1.8 aperture, so you can definitely really get that juicy, uh, nice blurry background that everyone wants. It's very compact. It's got actually a weather seal in the back. And it's probably one of the, well, the 90 millimeter is also sharp, but I use that more for macro photography. This, I'm gonna take this out for portrait work, or even if I'm shooting any, you know, landscapes or buildings, this is what I'm using. But mainly for portrait and headshot work. Also guys, I'm gonna leave the names of everything that I'm mentioning right now on the description, so if you have any questions, just make sure you put them on the comments and I'll gladly um, answer them. Next, we have the 16 to 35 from size. This was the first lens that I got with the camera. So this setup is what I'm gonna be rocking uh, for video when I'm not using the Blackmagic 6K. So if I'm gonna be shooting ambiance or I wanna showcase the space, I definitely wanna shoot with this one. Just because you get that wide field of view by going down to 16 um, millimeters. And yeah, this lens is the first one that I got. I still use it a lot. Um, like I said, mainly for video, I'll be using this lens, or if I wanna get those really wide angle shots, I'm gonna be using this one. I also carry with me in this bag, um, this blower, just because sometimes I'll be in a place where it gets a little dusty, or even just to clean the sensor of my camera, I'm always gonna be using this. And all right guys, this piece of equipment does not leave my bag. So this is the Polar Pro and PN ND filter. So think about this as sunglasses, basically for, for your lens. So you wanna put this in front of the lens so the image is not overexposed. Cause remember, you wanna keep that nice uh, blurry background, but if you do that, then you're gonna have to, you know, crank up the shutter speed or increase the aperture and you're gonna lose that nice blurry background. So how you solve that problem, you actually um, just pop this into the, the lens and that's it, you're pretty much covered. So this is a 77 thread filter. So what I suggest you guys to do, if you guys are gonna be buying this, which I highly recommend, get these uh, step up rings so the filter can fit any lens. 
For example, this is a 72 thread. It is also a 67 thread, but this is a 77 thread. So basically, I get step up rings from 72 to 77, and then I get from 67 to 77. So basically, this will fit all my lenses, and I don't have to buy this same piece of equipment, which is obviously the most expensive thing uh, for each and every lens. So step up rings is definitely a must. Um, so I'm not using the shrewd mic today, this thing. I'm not using this thing today, just because I wanna be able to you know, show you guys and I don't want this blocking me. So usually what I take in my camera bag is the Rode Video Mic Pro. So I have it attached right here on a boom arm, um, just so you can get that nice, clean audio. So basically what I'll do, I'll attach this to my camera whenever I'm shooting video to get that nice, crisp audio. So obviously, I carry my laptop uh, most times with me just because sometimes the, the client wants to tether, meaning they wanna show the pictures that I'm taking on my camera, they wanna show it on the bigger screen, so I'll, I'll provide that for them. But mainly it's just for me to work and things like that. Moving on to the smaller compartments, so I have this uh, Samsung T5 SSD drive. So I have a two terabyte and also a one terabyte, which is what I'm using to record this uh, video. So these are super important. Let's say I ran out of space in my camera. I can just plug this in, plug it into my uh, computer and then just transfer all the files. And I know my files are safe and secure. So huge, huge help. So the Blackmagic records straight to this. So I don't need an SD card. I don't need a CFast Express card or anything like that. I can just record straight to this, which is obviously a huge, game changer. Um, so this, it's called Anchor. I got this when I first got the laptop. So it's got these uh, ports that you can put a micro SD card, you can put an SD card, you can put you know USB, another C type uh, port, and also you have HDMI on the other uh, side. So this is one of the best accessories that I have for my laptop right now, hands down. And all right guys, and this piece of equipment, it may be reflecting back to you. So this right here is a reflector that I got from my pictures from my food photography, just because it is so easy to reflect light back into the subject. So let's say um, there's a dish here um, and I have the light right here. I'm gonna put this when the flash triggers is gonna bounce back and add more light into the subject without me having to get another uh, light or anything like that. So this is definitely a must. I'm gonna link this down below. And this is definitely a game changer. Oh, I almost forgot. I always carry another battery with me. I have two on my camera, but I always take a third one just in case. And also, if you've been wondering what these little things are, so I got these from Peak Design. I never really use it just because I'm always moving around and placing my camera down. But if I'm running around and I wanna make sure that my camera is secure, so you just clip this on right here, and that's it, you have a full on strap. I just don't like shooting like this. It's not really my style, but it's always good to have to keep your camera secure. So I don't carry this with me all the time. So this is a Mavic Air 2. I don't do a lot of drone work. That's why it's not always in my bag, but when I do, it fits perfectly. So this shoots 4K, it's more than enough for what I need. So yeah, this definitely fits in my bag perfectly. And the very last thing is this tripod from Peak Design. What I love is that it's very travel friendly. So yeah, you just pretty much open it like this and just like every other tripod. All right. And all right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to learn something from this. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.